So we have our picture. We're gonna start with our sponge and we have our paper towel. Make sure you have a paper towel and some water to dip your brush in. And we're just gonna start with the white, the blue, and the purple first. So we want to dip our brush in the water, but then we wanna squeeze most of it out. So we don't want the water dripping out of the brush. We just want it to be damp. Now start with a little bit of your white, and in the top left hand corner, you're going to paint a little section of that white. Like there's a little bit of light coming through. And when you're painting, make sure you paint the edges of your canvas too. Make sure you're painting the sides. So we're gonna paint a little bit of that white, not very much. And then we're gonna go in with our blue. You don't have to rinse your brush out, just grab some of your blue and blend it in this way. Now you can paint left to right if you want to, back and forth, or you can paint up and down, or the way that I usually paint, especially when we're painting water, is I kind of make X's. I like it to be a little more messy because it's water and it's moving around, you know? I want it to be moving. And we're gonna be painting over this too, so it doesn't really matter. No one's gonna see it. There's no right or wrong way. You're not gonna mess it up. So now that we've gone about this far, you wanna add in your darker blue. Again, you don't have to rinse your brush out. And where we've already painted some of that first blue, we wanna go in with the dark blue right along the edge of it here. So we want to let this dry completely before we move on. Okay, while we are waiting for this to dry, I have some jellyfish jokes. Ready? Would you rather kiss a shark or a jellyfish? A jellyfish, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> Get it? Because jellyfish don't have brains. Why did the fisherman put peanut butter on his fishing pole? To catch jellyfish. <laughs> okay, last one. What makes jellyfish laugh? Tentacles. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of colors happening now. We're gonna be doing our jellyfish. So you want to grab your smaller brush. We're gonna start using this bad boy. Get a new paper towel if you need one. It's always good to have a couple handy. So our jellyfish. We're going to dip our small brush into our water. Tap it off. Dab it onto your paper towel so you don't want it dripping. Okay? Now we want to do the outline of our jellyfish first. So I'm going to use the yellow and just put a little bit in the tip of the brush. And what we're gonna do is kind of make a bean shape, okay? So we're gonna be doing 
this part of the jellyfish, this opening here. So it's gonna kind of look like a bean. So first, I wanna do my smaller jellyfish, I think, up here. And you just kind of want to make a weird bean shape like that, okay? And then you're going to make another one that's a little bit bigger or a lot bigger, whatever you want. Below it. Another bean. there we want to make a dome so we're gonna make this top part of the jellyfish so from one end to the other side you just want to make a dome shape like so and then do it again down here in your bigger one and it's okay if it comes off the canvas it's okay if they overlap each other that's okay your little brush, clean it off, and your foam brush should be clean. Make sure that's rinsed out really good. Squeeze it in your paper towel. Get most of the paint out, and we're going to use that for this big portion here. Okay, well, I had some technical difficulties, so if mine looks a little different all of a sudden, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm still gonna use my sponge. I have all the paint um, out of it. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of white right along this edge here. And I'm pretty messy with it. I'm not really painting like big long strokes. I'm gonna start kind of dabbing the color on there because I wanna give it some texture while I'm filling it in. After the white, I'm gonna go in with my yellow. Right in with my yellow. If you see some of the blue behind it, that's okay. It gives it some depth. And then some orange next. I'm not rinsing my sponge out. I'm just going right into the next color. I might dab some of the extra out of it in my paper towel, but I'm not rinsing it. And then my red. Awesome. And it's okay for those colors to overlap. You want them to overlap. You want to have some color fade into the, the, the other ones. And then the last little bit I'm gonna do is some green right out here on this far edge right here, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now if your jellyfish, your smaller jellyfish is really small, you can switch from this to the paintbrush, the small paintbrush, if that's easier. I'm just gonna use the corner of mine for now, but you can use your smaller brush. Same thing. Start with my white. Get that in there. Go in with my yellow. Fill that in a little bit. orange. Now if you need to pause this at any time, please do if you need to catch up. I paint really fast, so don't feel like you have to be going as fast as I am. Just go at your own pace and make it look how you want it to look. And then after the orange, we'll do some red. And lastly, some green. Get some green in there. Okay. 
Okay, next is one of my favorite parts are all the tentacles coming out. So you're gonna wanna switch to your small brush here. And then we're just gonna alternate between all the colors that we have and layer them onto the canvas. So I'm gonna start with, it doesn't really matter what color you start with. I'm gonna start with orange though. And you wanna start not here. You don't want it to start here. You want it to start up here. Okay? So we're gonna kind of fill in this open space. of the jellyfish, kind of his, it's not his mouth, I know, but we can kind of call it his mouth. And these colors can overlap each other, they can layer each other, they're going to touch. Another color, let's say green. Oops. Don't worry if that happens, well, guess what? Just blend it in. I meant to do that. Ha! All right. Lastly, you want to put some white in it. Once you have all the other colors that you want, we're going to put white through there and give it a nice pop of highlight. Yeah. I think mine looks good just like this, so I'm going to stop. And then we're going to do the bubbles. Bubbles are really fun. So they can be different colors. I'm gonna probably use my white, my yellow, and my pink. And I'm gonna use my keep using my small brush. And I'm gonna make bubbles. You can make bubbles anywhere. Anywhere you want. Big bubbles, medium bubbles, small bubbles. gonna go in with that white and it's kind of mixing with my other colors and that's fine like some of these look pink and that's cool so I have a couple big bubbles in there now if you want really small bubbles you want to flip your paintbrush around to this end where you're holding and we're gonna put that in the paint so I'm gonna put that in my paint and then boop a perfect, tiny, little bubble. Look at that. Perfect. 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 Give this a couple. Boop. It helps if you make noise too. And I have the white ones in there, so maybe I want some yellow ones. Oh yeah, that's nice. They're not just white, they're not just blue, they're not just anything. They're all kinds of colors, so put whatever you want in there. Maybe I want a couple down here through the tentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. And then once you have all your tentacles in there, 
all the colors you want, all your bubbles in there, and you're finally done. And you wanna take your small brush, put it in whatever color you want. I'm gonna use the white. And I'm gonna put my, I just signed with my initials, but you can put your full name if you want. Just like that, to make it yours. And then you are all done. Take a picture of your painting and have them share it with me. I would love to see how everybody's painting came out. So thank you so much for following along and keeping me company tonight.